the 90s. It's a simple time, it was a fun time. But in the art community, this is when imaginations really start to evolve and actually become revolutionary. See, you ever heard of this thing called crossovers? You basically take two characters or two things and bring them together, draw them in terms of the art community and see what you could come up with. There was an artist that did that. I don't know the name, but if you guys know, please comment down below and please credit him to tell him I said you sparked some imagination for me today. What he did, or she did, or whoever drew this beautiful, beautiful piece. Two iconic animes, well the two iconic animes of all time, and merged them together and made this. Pokemon and Dragon Ball Z, obviously. The two most iconic animes known to man. And when he drew this Pikachu, maybe what, 10, 12 years ago? It was beautiful. And it still is to this very day. But, it's 2021 and everything deserves a remaster and that's when I come in okay so this is the first part of the actual video which is the sketching part sketchy part most important thing of the whole drawing process because you gotta get something down on that paper and when you do things get hella hella a lot easier but for this uh, Pikachu I'm not gonna lie it was just a little bit difficult just a little bit only because Pikachu is a rounded character, but I also I also had to integrate Dragon Ball Z into it. So when I did that, you know, I had to do some referencing from other resources, also from the original artist. And uh, yeah, this is what I got. So uh, yeah, I don't really have much else to say about the sketching part. I mean, it's just the sketching part. So yeah. <laughs> So, so far in the video, you're probably wondering, you know, Tweet, how in the world are you coloring this? Well, I'm not gonna lie. I had to play a little bit of a risk with this because coloring the skin was already gonna be a hassle. Not because I didn't have the markers for it, but I didn't want to, you know, throw off the Super Saiyan 3 hair and then Pikachu skin because obviously both of those are yellow and very bright. So, what I did was I did the skin first just so I can see, you know, what it's going to look like. So that way, when I do color the hair, I don't throw the contrast off, you know, I don't blend the two together so both of the hairs can stand out on their own. Because I wanted every part of Pikachu to be uh, a star in its own right. Like, I don't want to, you know, just, oh, uh you know make everything the same color make everything the same you know what i'm saying maybe the hair could be darker or the skin could be brighter or whatever the case may be i wanted to create something that well obviously that looks good but obviously something else that actually you know tears apart everything so like when you're looking at it you can see oh that's when he colored the skin or that's the hair or that's the shining uh highlight that he actually put in so yeah that's actually what i was uh going that's actually what i was going for when i was doing that so i hope i mean i hope i achieved it because it was difficult i'm not gonna lie it was a little difficult because trying to play off the yellows and everything it it, uh, it was it was hell i'm not gonna lie it was hell <laughs> but nonetheless i think it's cool i think it looks cool i think it looks really really cool and i can't wait for you guys to see the end result
So we're at the final result. I love this piece. Like I'm literally gonna be very, very honest. This is literally my favorite crossover piece that I've done in a very, 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 very long time. And as you can see why, you know, two iconic characters or two iconic anime shows coming together and that was born Pikachu Super Saiyan 3. I gotta say, I really like the concept and I really love the design um, from the first artist that did it and my remake also. Like I love both designs, obviously. Um, I love, I just really love my remastered version because it looks more modern and it looks more me. And it looks like I really upgraded on my colors too, on my color picking and my coloring. I think I upgraded pretty damn good. But it's also just not from my opinion to judge it. It's also you guys' opinion to judge on as well. Let me know what you guys think of the video. If you did like this video, and you made it to the very end, go ahead and show me, strike that like button down below. I upload new videos every single weekend. Well, I'm trying to, <laughs> I'm trying, I'm trying. But uh, if this is your first time on my video, first of all, thank you so much for stopping by. Thank you so much for actually just, you know, even lurking a minute, you know what I'm saying? You made it to the very end just to see what the final result will look like. Hey, welcome to the family. Go ahead and hit that subscribe button for us. That way you can be invited to the cookout, bro. That's all we do is eat and we just have good we have good times over here. <laughs> From myself and Charlie, have a good day. Thank you so much for watching the video and we will see you guys later. And as we always say, peace and sayonara.